Hi, my name is Rohan Shiknis, and I am a high school senior that is presenting my project on detecting schizophrenia through deep learning models. So for my capstone project at the Wheeler Magnet program, I um, interned at Kennesaw State University's College of Computing, which specializes in gaming machine learning and uses machine learning to better society. And, and it does host the C-Day, which I'm presenting at right now. Um, I was mentored by Dr. Dan Lowe, who specializes in machine learning and has had a lot of publications in TensorFlow and computational thinking and has worked a lot with both of these technologies. So I wanted to intern in computer science, but I wasn't sure what. So I decided that I wanted to do machine learning. And I realized that it's actually a predictive technology that is used to solve many problems and um, it generates data-driven solutions. I actually I decided to specialize in deep learning, which is a subset of machine learning that um, basically creates uh, different neural networks or um, digital models of the brain with uh, nodes acting as neurons. Um, so I focused on schizophrenia, which is a dangerous personality disorder that affects over 1.1% of the world's population. Uh, it typically is uh, marked by a lot of delusions and um, it hurts the family if it is not um, detected earlier. So my research topic was applying these deep learning model models to the schizophrenia. And I actually found that it was used a lot in the past. A lot of people had tried to detect schizophrenia more effectively rather than blood tests and other um, physical examinations that have not worked as effectively in the past. So I used um, support vector machines to um, classify my images and I used actual CNN to make predictions on those classifications and Keras to um, implement both of these. So my two basic sub problems were how was machine learning apply, how was machine learning applied to research in the past and then how could efficiency of machine learning be measured and I tried applying both of these and created a deep learning model that diagnosed schizophrenia from fMRI data. So um, I determined to create a CNN and use Keras to create this algorithm and then Kaggle was a place a cloud based uh, coding site where I could communicate with my mentor and upload data sets directly. I split the data into training and testing after segmenting the images, and I found the binary accuracy and the loss graphs, and I indicated the accuracy of the training. The confusing ma matrix was uh, generated to determine the efficiency of the algorithms afterwards. So the vol uh, validity and reliability, it is, um, is a valid research because it has done, been done in the past. I just tried to um, see what the most effective way to do it was and tried to generate a um, algorithm with the higher than 95% accuracy. I found that um, my algorithm was actually 0.9632 binary accuracy, which is pretty effective, but not perfect. So I feel like if I can get it perfect, which should be around 0.99, um, I can implement this into an app so that people who cannot afford this mental health care can get it accessibly. 